Hey guys, this is Ulrich from Nostalgic Mathematics. Welcome to our MID Integration B 2022 series. Today we turn attention to the problem one of the finals. We will compute these antiderivatives. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe. So we want to compute these antiderivatives i. The key here is to be well organized in the way you carry on with computations. So we have here a squared plus b squared. So maybe we need to know the formula of a plus b plus c squared. That's what we do here because a plus b plus c squared is a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2ab plus 2ac plus 2bc. So we apply this formula both for a and b. So for a, we have this. Actually, we use a is sine 20x b 3 times sine 21x and c sine 22x to have this we do the same for b square to have this now notice that we're going to group the terms within the same color to have this for a square plus b square now we need to know two formulas the first one is well known cosine square plus sine square is one and the second one is the addition formula for the cosine to have this so a square plus b square is going to be one here in bold nine in red and one in green now for the term in blue we're going to have cosine of 21x minus 20x and in this red we're going to have two times cosine of 22x minus 20x and here in orange we're going to have 6 times cosine of 22x minus 21x. Rewrite as follow. 9 here. 1 plus 1 is 2. 6 times cosine x. And here, 6 times cosine x. And 2 times cosine 2x for this term. Now we group. We have 9. And 6 times plus 6 times cosine x is 2 times cosine x. Now we leave this as follow to have 2 times 1 plus cosine 2 times x. Next, we apply a duplication formula because cosine 2x is 2 times cosine squared x minus 1 to have this. And next, this is going to be 4 times cosine squared x. It is very interesting because here we have a perfect square because this is 3 square and 12 is 2 times 3 multiplied by 2. So that's correct. Now, if we apply the square root, we're going to have the absolute value of 3 plus 2 times cosine x. But this is positive because cosine x is greater or equal to minus 1. So this is going to be greater or equal to 1. So it is positive. So we can get rid of the absolute value to have this. And now it is straightforward. So this antiderivative is going to be 3 times x plus 2 times sin x plus the constant. And we're done. And this is the answer. Thank you for your attention. Again, do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and post your comments. Bye.